In this first video, we're going to go over how to do descriptive statistics in Microsoft Excel. And the data set that we'll be using for the remainder of these videos is the Avery Fitness Center data set, which can be found on Canvas. A recommendation that I have when running, in, when running your analysis is to always have a copy of your survey and codebook nearby. So for the Avery Fitness Center survey, we can pull that up in the PowerPoint. So we have a copy of the survey right here and a copy of the codebook as well. And the codebook is a little similar to what we were doing in Qualtrics before we went in and recoded the values so we know which numbers in Excel would, would correspond with the answers in the survey. And the codebook just outlines that for us. So descriptive statistics are used to look at one specific variable. For example, if you asked about gender on your survey and you wanna see how many males or females took your survey, how many people fell into a certain category, and we can also look at averages for individual scales. So the first test that we'll run is for gender, and we'll see how many males and females took this survey. So we wanna find gender in our data set, which is column W. And another thing that I recommend when doing analysis is to copy and paste the columns of data that you're working with into a new worksheet. Just helps keep everything together so you know exactly which columns of data that you're looking at. So we'll copy this into a new worksheet. And when doing these descriptive statistics, we're going to use the pivot table function in Excel. So we're going to go to insert and build a pivot table. And our data range is going to include all the data that we have in column A, including the name of the column. So just go ahead and highlight everything and keep scrolling down in column A until the data stops, which is right here. Select OK. And, we'll, and it'll pull up a pivot table builder. So what you wanna do is drag this field, right, field name right here into either columns or rows, either one, it's personal preference. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it to columns. And you also wanna drag it into values. And for values when doing descriptive statistic work, you always wanna make sure that it's set to count. And if it wasn't set to count, say this said sum, for example, you can click on this I right here and change it to what you want it to be. But in this case, we do want it to be count. And once you verify that, you can close out of the builder and we can see that these are the responses. So if we go back to our code book, we can see that for gender, one equates to male and two equates to female. So we can go back to our table and see that a lot more females took the survey than males. 177 females compared to 45 males. And if you wanted to calculate percentages for this, you can do, so let's say you wanted to see the percentage of males that took the survey, you can do 45 divided by 222, multiply that by 100, do the same thing for females if you wanna do a percentage breakdown as well. So we'll go ahead and do one more. This time we'll look at how many people fell into each level of education. So we'll take our education data and paste it into a new worksheet and we'll build our pivot table, just like we did before, highlighting the data, including the name of the column. And select OK. And again, we're gonna drag it to columns and values, and it's already set to count, so we're good to go. And we see that the highest level that we had, we had 82 answer six. And if we look at our code book for education, we had most people were falling into an advanced, as to having an advanced degree. So like I mentioned, you can also use descriptive statistics to look at the averages for certain scales. So if we go to our survey and we look at question five, it asks about the importance of each of these reasons to participate in AFC programs. So we can take each one of these four reasons and look at how the average importance for each. So we're gonna look at social aspects. So we go back to our data set and we find social, which is column Q. We're gonna copy and paste it again into a new worksheet and build a pivot table. And we'll drag it to columns and values. This time though, we want, instead of count, we wanna look at the average. So go ahead and change that to average. And again, I did that by clicking on that little I right there close out of that and we see our grand total is about 3.15. So if we go back to our PowerPoint and look at our scale, we can see that the average importance for social aspects falls right in the middle 
of the scale of importance. So we'll look at one more, and this time we'll look at question six, which is the likelihood of recommendation. So let's go back to our data set, and recommendation is column T. Again, we'll copy and paste it over and build our pivot table. And again, dragging it to columns and values, we want to change it to average. We see that the average is about a 9.29. So looking again back at our survey, so about right here in the scale, so we can see that people are very likely to recommend the AFC to their friends and family. And that's all we're going to cover in descriptive statistics. In the next video, we're going to go over how to do crosstab analysis.